Hmm. Well, for many, I'm a beat maker, but um, it's a little bit more involved in that at this point. Um, I would call myself a record producer. There's a, a difference, huge difference between the two. Um, you have to be a visionary. Um, and, and I didn't start out being that. That's something that just kind of developed over time. Um, when it's said and done, when a record's finished, um, I'm the visionary typically that ensures that the final product um, is competitive on the market. Um, my focus is more so um, the total record package um, for an artist that I'm attached to. Um, my job is to ensure that they have a record that when it's said and done, um, it's a complete product. Uh, it feels a certain way, it fits a certain mold, um, it has a certain bigness, it has a, a, a certain sonic clarity um, so that it competes with other records in the same, in the same field or the same genre. Beat makers are more track driven. Their goal is uh, based around a track sounding and feeling a certain way. Whereas a record producer typically is more concerned with the overall final product um, for the artist, the sound, um, the delivery, the emotion, um, how a record progresses. Um, so where beat makers are definitely valuable, um, producers build um, in a manner that is looking at the entire product as opposed to the actual music. Um, but I didn't start out that. Um, I started out as a beat maker um, and then over time that just sort of developed and it created other opportunities.